Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. I'm currently looking at my phone screen to see the questions and categories. Um, this tag was created by the Library of Sarah, and I'll put her link down below. This is this is not actually quite an old tag for once. I'm actually doing a pretty current tag about a month or two ago. So anyway, this basically you had to find stuff on your shelf that correspond with the letters. My back is going to be turned to you guys for a little bit of the while. Maybe I'll, actually, I'll turn my tripod. So I just moved my tripod so I can be more in frame, I guess, when I'm looking. So the first thing to find is an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. So. Z, where are you? There is no Z's anywhere. Why? Oh, oh, got it. Gabrielle Zevin found a Z. Okay, so the next one I have to look for is a classic, and I know exactly where a classic is because I only have one, I think. Classic be Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Okay, so find a book of a key on it. And I know exactly another one I'm going to pick. Uh, if I can get to it. Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. A nice obvious choice. Okay, so find something in your bookshelf that's not a book. Have it right here. My little Lego figurine just chills on the bookshelf. Um, find the oldest book on your shelf. Um, the oldest book, I'm going to pick the oldest book I think of all, which I think is this. Let me just check, because the other, 1949, that's not even that old compared to the oldest one. Okay. So, Dr. Doolittle Zoo by Hugh Lofting. I guess this is a classic. I, I have more than one classic. Why do I think Pride and Prejudice is my only one? Um, Dr. Doolittle Zoo, this was 1925. I'm pretty sure that's the oldest one on my shelf. So, find a book of a girl on the cover. This shouldn't be hard. Probably the easiest. So I just picked Ruthless by Sarah Shepard. There's a girl on the front and a girl on the back. Okay. Find a book that has an animal in it. Yeah, in it, not on it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a lot of books of animals in it, but why can't I think of any? Um, you know what? This is the only thing I can think of, so we're just going to go with it. So Pretty Little Liars, Hannah's Dog Dot. That's an animal. I think he's a miniature pinchner. Don't know how to say that. Um, find a book of a male protagonist. Beautiful Creatures. Cre Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. The main protagonist is Ethan Waite. Okay. Find a book of only words on it. This is going to be quite difficult. Only words. Oh! Wasn't well, that bad, actually. Room by Emma Donahue. It only has the colorful letters. And it's all white. No pictures. I thought that was going to take me years. Find a book of illustrations in it. Oh! Where? Oh, there it is. 
Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I know these aren't quite illustrations, but this is the closest I have to illustrations. They're pic photographs. So we're just going to count them as illustrations. Or maybe I do... Oh, wait, actually, never mind. Scrap that. Here's a book of illustrations. The... Just... The Art of Toy Story 3 um, by Charles Solomon. And this has lots of pictures in it and illustrations actually because of the... Let's find an illustration. There's an illustration. I hope you guys can see that and it's not out of frame and awkward. Find a book of gold lettering. Wentworth Hall by Abby Graham. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually turning out not to be as bad as I thought it was. I watched a lot of these and I was like, oh my gosh, if I do this, like, I'm going to die. <laughs> Find a diary, true or fictional. The diary. I used to read, oh, all kinds of books. Got it. <laughs> Princess in the Spotlight by Meg Cabot. This is one of the Princess Diaries book and it's all in diary entries. I was going to say, I used to love diary entry books. I still do. But I used to have an obsession. I'd just find as many books as I could like that. So I was like, I have to have one at least. Um, find a book written by some of a common name like Smith. Um, okay. Common last name. Common last name. I'll try to pick if somebody I met with the same last name, so it's kind of common. Hmm. Oh. John Green. Green's a pretty lot common last name. I've met, I think, two people with the last name Green. So, I'm going to count that. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. Okay. A close-up. If I Stay by Gail Foreman, there's a close-up of her face. I don't know if that counts as a close-up, but it is pretty close angle compared to normal books where the girl's just standing or the boy's just standing back. Okay. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. I'd say again Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, find a hardcover book about a jacket right here. Envy by Anna Godberson. Um, at a time, uh, I forget. I think I was in grade seven. I did not like dust jackets at all. I was a very foolish girl. Um, and basically a lot of my dust jackets got ruined though, because when I'd set them down to, my sister and me used to share a room, um, before I made this channel, I think about a year before. Um, and we shared this one bookshelf, and I had quite a lot of books, so when I'd read it, I'd take the dust jacket off, and usually got crushed by my sister's stuff, because she put stuff down on it. So I lost quite a few dust jackets. I think four of them I don't have, which are most of the Twilight books, and one of these. Um, find a teal tur turquoise covered book. Teal and turquoise. Oh! No, that's green. That's unfortunate. Oh, is this teal? Oh, that's only the spine. <laughs> that's disappointing. Um, I'm going to pick The Chosen One by Carol Lynch Williams, because this is kind of like a teal, I think. I'm not sure if that would count. Teal or turquoise -y. I don't know if that one counts, but I am going to count it. Um, find a book with stars on it. Stars. Hmm. This is this is proving to be quite difficult. Stars. Wait. So 
that have stars on it? I thought the Fault in Our Stars would have stars on it because the title. I was wrong. Um. I don't want to admit defeat. I don't want to admit, admit defeat. Um. Stars. Stars. I never needed a star. <laughs> um. Is that a star? No. It's a feather. I might have to admit defeat on this one. Wait. Got it. Why? I'm so obnoxious about this lately. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, eight spells a week. It has a star border on the front and back. Thank goodness for those books. All of them actually do. Okay. Find find a non YA book. Oh. Shopping, Seduction, and Mr. Selfridge by Lindy Woodhead. This is like a um, biography on Mr. Selfridge. Um, yeah. So that concludes the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye! the shelf and you go from that and then you t pick up the book that the numbers correspond to and you kind of talk about like it but not like root how am I gonna describe this